Which of these legends interest you? Excellent choice. Mongols and the demons conspired to take a village in Kubara, and a mysterious legend awaited the ghosts somewhere in the cavernous darkness. Our story begins with a fisherman in need. Help! They took my friend! Please, hurry! Below the ghosts stood a figure surrounded by crows. Its black eyes searched for prey. Hungry. Crow demons. Ghosts! I've... I've heard of you! They say... Thank you. Thank you so much. I was in... I was in Otsuna village. There were thousands of crows. So many. The demons. Please, my boat! Take it. Save our village, please! Wherever the Tango go, crows surely follow, as do terrible things. Tango are tricksters. Manipulators. Some say they can even invade dreams and possess the ghosts arrived. Only to find Otsuna village had been visited by death and destruction. I was dead. Thank you. You have my gratitude. The others, they took them across the river. I heard the demons speak, but it was a different tongue, an evil tongue. All I could understand was Onibaba.
The Tengu. They flew down from the old monastery. And the cave. Beware of the cave. The ghost traveled toward the mountains, hoping they could stop the Tengu and find the cave that had terrified the villagers. You are trying to stop what you do not know, but people are angry. The island is angry. Once the Tengu have taken their bodies, word will... The monastery loomed over the trees in the distance. The ghosts pressed on, searching for the source of the Tengu. Take that one! Something unnatural, beyond just human. The tango defeated. The cave grew silent, and the ghosts found themselves before Kojiro. The spirits once blessed me. But now, Io has cursed me with something so much more. slain, Io could no longer control the Tengu and was unable to rally the people to her cause. But the crows of Utsuna were only part of her plan. Thanks. 